Sister! All right, y'all. How you feeling today? Okay, I want to ask you guys to come in a little bit. Come in a little bit closer. Because I want to talk about the strategic moment that we are in. The high stakes moment. You've heard a lot today and it's very important. But I want to talk some about how we see this moment and how we go forward. I want to start by saying why we call this regime fascist. Because it's not a curse word. Fascism has real meaning. We are being ruled by a fascist regime right now. What does this mean? It means the concentration camps at the border. It means children being torn from their parents' arms. It means a program of ethnic cleansing and genocide. That's right, genocide against immigrants and Latinos and brown-skinned people. This is a program of whipped-up, reasserted white supremacy. The Trump-Pence regime, there is a direct line from this regime to the Confederacy and the slave founding of this country. This is coming back with a vengeance. What does fascism mean in America? It means the enslavement, the open Christian fascist theocratic enslavement of women, the taking away of women their right to birth control as well as abortion, and forcing them to have children against their will, which is a form of enslavement. This fascism means not just allowing, which Obama did, the, de the destruction of the environment to continue, but accelerating it shredding environmental protections, pouring gasoline on the fires of global climate change at a time we're rapidly approaching a tipping point. This fascism and the only superpower in the world means the threat of war, even nuclear war against people of the world. This is a high stakes moment. So this is the program of fascism that we have a responsibility to stop, but that's not all. Fascism is also a qualitative change in the form of rule. It's not just greater atrocities, it's the change in the form of rule to create an open, openly terroristic, violent dictatorship in this system of capitalism and imperialism. A, a change in the form of rule that shuts down any channels for protest or redress. A change in the form of rule that shreds the separations of powers, that remakes the courts or throws them to the side altogether. A change in the form of rule so that you have all the space in society for people to oppose them from the streets through protest, through the laws and the courts, even from within the halls of power. That's what Donald Trump means when he says, lock her up. That's what he's talking about when he says, Adam Schiff could be handled the way people were handled in Guatemala. He's talking about executing his political rivals. That's what he's invoking. That's what he's doing. This is a fascist regime, and the lesson of history is there is a window to stop fascism. You have to stop it before it consolidates, not just because of the crimes against humanity and the human cost it will mean, which is reason enough, but also, and we have to understand this because people do not understand this. They're in denial about it. They're not confronting it. And we have to wage this struggle to bring more people into this movement. Fascism is, there's a point at which it becomes too late. There's a point at which it's impossible from within to stand up and stop it. We are not at that point yet, but we are moving towards that point. And the fascists are organized, and they're armed, and they're preparing for a civil war, and our side is largely going about business as usual. Now I want to say this is also happening at a very particular moment. There's an impeachment roiling. This is a very sharp struggle at the top of society. This is a very sharp struggle because of how radical, not a different system, but a different form of rule these fascists are bringing about. It has compelled the mainstream rulers, the Democrats, the mainstream imperialists to come out and wage a fight that they didn't want to wage to bring forward articles of impeachment, to actually impeach this president. And this is very important. No, they didn't impeach him on his whole fascist program. No, they didn't impeach him over children in cages, and they should have. They impeached him on very narrow grounds. But it's still important. This is a beginning taste of justice. It's a hit and a blemish on Trump's record right now, and he's vulnerable right now. And it's lifted the spirits, rightly so, of many people in this country. 
and it's begun to melt away some of the normalization. And we saw people in the streets in recent weeks over this, in very important numbers that we had to seize on. This is also a moment of this escalated war crimes and war moves against the people of the Middle East, the assassination of a leading state official of Iran. This is also a time of high stakes where, correctly so, people have been in the streets against that as well. This is a moment that we in this movement must seize, but not just to join in and blend in with protests that we've seen burst forward and then fade away time and time under this regime, but to go and wage a struggle with people that we need a different kind of protest. A different kind of protest, that's what this is about. We launched this movement in October. We've been coming back week after week in this city and across the country today in 13 cities. But we have to grow, we have to come back. Each of you need to understand this is part of a strategy for a different kind of protest. They've been talking about it up here. Coming back week after week, growing from hundreds to thousands to millions who stay in the streets and do not leave until we create the kind of massive, world-shaking political crisis right here in the belly of the beast that compels the removal of this regime. There is no other force except for the masses of people that can make that happen. And there are protests planned this month that are very important. You heard about it, the Women's March, the anti-war protests happening at the end of the month on the 25th. Very important. But I'll tell you this, they will go nowhere. They will go nowhere without the mission and the movement of out now growing and impacting them and winning many more of them to take part. Let's be straight up about this. The Women's March, it's going to be beautiful. People will be out there. But they're going to be getting the message to get organized to flip the Senate and change the elections in 2020. Part of the point of the fascism is they don't respect the normal processes. They're ripping up the normal processes. They've already told you that Donald Trump has told you that if, that if he loses, it might not be legitimate. We can't wait and rely on him to leave peacefully and to respect the processes he's been violating and shredding all the way along. We have to build a struggle from below and we need to bring the out now movement and mission into the Women's March massively and win them, win growing numbers of people who are correctly standing up to take up this demand and to stay in the streets and to win more people to join us in the streets. And we need to do the same at the end of the month on the 25th. We need a massive contingent that marches into the out now to the anti-war protests happening, which are righteous. But we need to bring this demand. It's not enough to oppose the war in Iran. It is necessary. But we have to remove the regime. And we have to build this struggle. And we have to keep coming back. And no, we have to not take no for an answer because this is not a pendulum swing. You don't get a second chance with fascism. There is a point at which it becomes too late. We are not there yet, but we are in a race against time. Imagine if Donald Trump declared a national emergency. Imagine if they hadn't backed away from military aggression in Iran at the moment. Imagine if we were in an all-out shooting war and he suspended the right to protest and he locked up rivals. He said Obama was to blame for Iran's action. I am not a fan of Obama, but this is somebody who is talking about treating the former leader of the head of state the same way he just treated Soleimani. This is not somebody who will respect the normal processes. We have to pry open the fight at the top of society with impeachment and bring in the demand from below in the name of humanity, the demand that serves the interests of the whole world, which is Trump Pence out now. Trump Pence out now. And we have to build this struggle, and I'm struggling with you to stick with this movement, to join this movement, to take it out to your friends, and to join us in bringing it into these broader seas of protests happening this month, which are very good, but not good enough, and we can impact that, and we must impact that. The final thing I want to say is about the breadth and the unity in going forward in this movement. We need to stand together shoulder to shoulder. People coming from very different perspectives and viewpoints. People who want to fight for Bernie, but recognize that is not enough. 
people who want to fight for Amy Klobuchar, but recognize we're facing fascism and need to get in the streets now. People who want to fight around immigrant rights. People who have never been political a day in their life before. People who want to fight to be able to go back to the way things were before Trump. We need to be in this. But I'll tell you this for myself. I don't want to go back to the way it was before Trump. I don't want to go back to regular imperialism. I want to fight for a whole different world. And as we fight shoulder to shoulder together, I want to invite you and I want to challenge you to lift your sights to real revolution, to the actual overthrow of this system that has brought forward a fascist regime. I want to invite you to learn about and dig into scientifically, critically, the new communism and the, and the leadership of Bob Avakian, who has formed a framework and a strategy to overthrow this system and bring about a world that is emancipated for all of humanity. He's built on the, the righteous histories of liberating revolutions in the past, but also learned from their shortcomings and the changes in the world, and he has brought forward a way we could really make that real. So as we fight together, I want us to be motivated, not just, although definitely motivated by what we are trying to stop, the nightmare of this Trump-Pence fascism, but also by the possibility of a radically different world, an uplifted world, a liberated world where women are not afraid to walk down the street at night, where it doesn't matter what corner of the globe you were born on, where it doesn't matter the color of your skin, it does not determine your safety or your value in this world where we celebrate our diversity and cultures, our genders, our sexualities, our nationalities, our backgrounds, and where every child on this planet, no matter where you are born, has a future. Not just a material future, food and clothing and shelter, but a rich intellectual, cultural life. This is possible in the world today. That's gonna to take a revolution, and you should learn about it and join with us in digging into that and fighting for that if you're convinced of it. But as you do that, and as we might have differences about that, we all need to come together, shoulder to shoulder in this moment, because there is no future of revolution, there is no future of reform in any kind of good way, there is no Bernie future, there is no any of these futures that we want to see if fascism consolidates. So we have to come together in this, and we have to take this forward. We are carrying a tremendous responsibility. The basis exists in the fight at the top of society right now and in the deep, deep reservoir of tens of millions who hate this direction. But that is not enough. We've got to go out and we've got to move those people off the sidelines into this struggle. We need to join together to do this and we need to take this forward in the name of humanity. So join us in D.C. next weekend. Come to the mass meetings. Come and get organized, get signed up on social media, make a donation right now, and don't let this be the last time we see each other in the streets or in the meetings or on the trains or anywhere else. We've got to carry this forward. Yeah. My name is Sansara Taylor. Come read revcom.us. Hook up at the re website refusefascism.org and join me in saying, in the name of humanity, in the name of humanity, we refuse to accept. We refuse to accept a fascist America. Trump Pence out now. Trump Pence out now. Trump Pence out now. Thank you.